And chain plying is a technique for turning one ball of thinner yarn into a three strand of that yarn with the one strand. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Okay, and then before we tighten that slip knot, we're going to take our working yarn, not our tail, and loop it through. Kind of like we're doing a chain crochet chain stitch, but with our fingers. And then we'll tighten that slip knot. We're not going to use that slip knot, and we'll make this, we'll make that loop like, I don't know, two feet long. Maybe longer. Okay, well guess what? If you hold that loop with your working yarn, you now have three strands of yarn. See that? So as we work this and we come to the end of that, we'll take our working yarn again and we'll loop it through and create another super long chain. So I like to, it's called chain plying, but it really is elongated crochet chains and you just keep making more as you go to create a three strand yarn from one strand. Now where it loops through, there is a little join there, but it is much smaller than even a knot. And we all know you can knit over a knot, no big deal anyway. So I mean, it's really, really cool. Whether you're going to knit or crochet with this, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you both ways. So if we're going to start by crocheting with it, we can tie the yarn to our crochet hook. And as we begin crocheting with this, we'll start with a beginning chain. As that loop approaches our work, we're going to just simply make another loop, or make another crochet chain. So as we work, we'll just make more of those chains to turn our one ball of yarn into three. Okay, so our loop's approaching our work again, so we will simply take that loop and pull the working yarn through it to create another elongated loop. Okay, so we'll do the whole process over. We'll start with a slip knot. And now with our working yarn, not the tail yarn, we'll pull a loop through that slip knot that we made. And then as we pull it through, we'll tighten the slip knot and elongate that loop. to turn one strand into three. And now you can attach this to your knitting needle. Let's do something nice and simple, like an I-cord. We'll just knit into the front, back, and front of same stitch. Slide our work to the opposite end of the needle and knit all three stitches. Just in case you don't know what I cord is, that's that's the gist of it. Okay, and as that loop gets shorter, we're going to just simply pull that loop, pull the working yarn through that loop to make another elongated chain to keep our yarn three strands. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. You can find links to everything I showed you today in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.